A rigid hollow sphere is immersed deep in water and released from rest. My dudes, if the sphere is hollow, it's probably going to float. I don't care what material it's made out of. Hollow means the center is air. Air is low density. It's probably going to float. It experiences an upthrust which propels it towards the surface of the water. Okay, I will guess it's correct. Which graph shows the variation of time t of its upward velocity? Okay, boss. When we are talking about deep, deep in water, so maybe I have this very tall cylinder, and I put this tiny hollow sphere here, and I fill it to the brim with water. Okay, water, 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 water. And then I let go. At the point of letting go, okay, my hollow sphere will have small weight because this is pretty much not very heavy, but very large up truss. Okay, so I'm going to draw up truss here. Very large, large up truss. But as our ball begin to make its journey along the way. Okay, what is going on? I'm just going to ignore this. Can I ignore it? Okay, anyway, as our ball uh, continues its journey along the way, <laughs> when the time you reach here, the up truss is the same. The weight is the same. However, the drag force is significant. So where is the ball moving again? The ball is moving upwards. So I'm going to draw some smoke trail at the back. I learned from Miss Ellie one. The ball is moving upwards. So as the ball travels from here to here, velocity increase, meaning drag force increases D. So now we have our beautiful drag force joining the party. And drag force will counterbalance the up thrust until net force is zero. Up thrust is equal to drag force plus mg. When up thrust is equal to the combination of this one, then we have terminal velocity. That's why you have terminal velocity here. You have terminal velocity here. So obviously C and B is out. But then the question will be. How do I know whether the speed is increasing or decreasing? This object is at rest at the bottom. Yeah, release from rest. Ma. So it's A already, because this is released from rest. Also, the speed is going to speed up and then maintain. It will not slow down. If it slows down, it means it decelerates, so the downward force is bigger. But that cannot be because the thing is less dense than water. All right. So this is from Winter 18, Paper 1, 3. A combination of drag force and up thrust. Quite standard stuff.